I would like to introduce debugging at this early stage in our learning of Rust. Specifically, I would like for us to install the debugging tool for Rust in VS Code. Please go to the VS Code extension and then type in code LLDB by Vadim Shuganov. Spasiba, Vadim. Um, thank you, Vadim, for creating this wonderful plugin. This is one of the easiest tool we can install in VS Code to debug Rust, especially at this early stage of our learning. Okay, so once you have that install, let's uh, let's take a step back and uh, introduce the concept of debugging. So debugging essentially um, is a multi-step process that involves identifying a problem, isolating the source of the problem, and then either correcting the problem or determining a way to work around it. Of course, the ultimate step is of debugging is to test the, con the correction or work around, make sure it works. However, debugging tools can also help us analyze the code, even if something is not wrong, so we can get a better understanding of what's going on in the application. So once you have the uh, extension installed in VS Code, what I want you to do is, in VS Code, at the top menu bar, go to Run, Run Without Debugging. Click on that. And then you're going to get a warning message that says, Cannot start debugging because no launch configuration has been provided. You're going to click OK. And then you get another pop-up that says, Cargo Tomo has been detected in your workspace. Would you like to generate launch configurations for this for its targets? Click yes. Okay. Once you click yes, the plugin or the extension that you just install, in conjunction with VS Code, it will uh, launch the launch.json file, and then the extension will um, insert this configuration for you. Now, you can certainly do this yourself, but at this stage of our learning, this approach is probably the best and the most painless, okay? So once we have this configuration, go back to our uh, entry point, main.rs file in source. Let's say we want to put a breakpoint on line 16 and step through it to see what is inside of this variable, this message variable. Okay, so you have a debugger option here on the left side with debug and the play button icon. Click on that. And then up here, you can see here, there's a little drop down here. It says debug executable, hello, Rust Station. I want that option, the first one. And then I'm going to click on the play button. And then that will, as you can see, give me this option here to uh, continue, step over the code, step into the code, step out of the code, and then restart. Okay? So let's step over this and see what's inside of the message. As you can see here, the message contained this string here. Now, if we want to step into it, it'll take you to the uh, framework code. And then you can really get, at this point, you can really get into the weed here. So let's say you want to get out of this. You're going to step out, or that'll take us back to our code. Okay? And then step over it again to see how many, um, uh, how many characters are in this width parameter here. And then you can continue. Okay? So at the very basic level, that is how you set up debugging in your Rust application. Good luck. See you next time.